Welcome back everybody. This is episode 2 of how to make mods with Minecraft Forge and Mod Loader. Um, in this episode we're going to create a block and an item and set up textures of them. I have these two windows up here for reference just in case I get confused. This one will be episode 3 which I should be recording straight after this unless um, Luke signs into Skype but for the meantime we want to go and download this blank 256 by 256 PNG file so now that that is downloaded we want to drag and drop it into just let me get to the correct directory to our textures folder in terrain we want to copy and paste this in rename it to blocks control C I just do this for everyone rename this to items then in the FX one just rename it to um, FX right so now that that's set up and ready we want to go and open up paint.net paint.net for transparency and we want to open these files. So my first tutorials textures. We're going to do a um, block first. So I'm just going to zoom in here so that it's ready for editing in a minute. And over in here, we want to open up the package net.minecraft.source and create a new mod underscore. Um, I'll just name it Forge Tots, and this mod underscore file will have to extend base mod as usual, and add in the unimplemented methods. So here we're just going to return not point one alpha. The load method, we don't have to do anything in. Actually, yeah, we do. So, all we want to do here is Minecraft Forge Client dot preload texture. Then we want to type in our text file. So we have slash textures slash terrain slash blocks dot png we want to copy this three times for all three text files so we put here gui items and here we would put fx and fx so now minecraft forge is going to preload our text files for us so next I'm going to create two methods which will help keep everything all nice. So init items which will initialize our items and um, that should be it. Just create this one for the next tutorial. Actually I'll be able to get this one in this tutorial. So, change this to public. Right, so we have our modern score forged tools far already, so we're going to create a new class called block block awesomeness. So, how you spell awesomeness? I think it is. And this file has to extend the block class and implement the i texture provider which comes with forge we will learn in a minute and you want to add this constructor with the two in parameters oh that put that down there for some reason um, implements i texture provider 
just import that from the forge directory and add the unimplemented method which is string get texture file right so we this is our block we just have to return the text file so textures slash terrain slash blocks dot png so you, you might be wondering so how do I load up the texture I want from this big 256 by 256 well we have to go back into our mod underscore forge torts um, we then have to create a new block public block uh, first tot equals new block awesomeness and add these arguments right so this first argument is our id so i'm just going to say 234 and this is our um, what's it called the icon index which is it the 16 the 16 by 16 so this will be the 16 by 16 from this is our first 16 by 16 which is represented by the number 0 and this is the f second one which is represented by the number 1 um, so what we're going to do is select that, delete it, make sure it's selected so we don't edit anything else, and we're just going to paint some random colours like so. So green with some yellow and some pinkish purple. That looks good. We're going to save this file, click OK. And then in our modern score forge tots we're going to say material dot dot rock. Right, so now we need to run down into our inner items file and say first tot hmm. I don't know why I did that there. It's easier just to do it down here in our initialization method, which is where it should be. And is that all? No. Okay, so now we need to mod loader dot register. Block. We want to register our first tot. What am I doing? First tot. But we also want to give it a name and a crafting recipe. So mod loader dot add name to first tot, and we're going to call it awesomeness awesomeness make sure you spell it wrong and we will also add a recipe so mod loader dot add recipe new item stack first tot we want 64 of these and in here we're going to put a new object array we're just going to make this with one block of dirt so I carrot pardon me character dot value of and we want the value of I then we're going to put block dot dirt so if everything is done correctly this shouldn't crash and it should work on startup it's got recipe, it's got a name and it's got a texture. But apparently is missing oh. Um down here we have to put dot set 
dot set dot Hmm, confused here. It's probably something really simple. Do, 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 do. Dot set block name. You know it's close. Dot set block name to awesome nin awesome. Always save resources. Right, so we're going to create a new world. Generating level. Get our piece of dirt. And you can see that it did not load our texture correctly. Um. I wonder why. Zero. This is probably the other way around, actually. So zero, two, three, four. Probably goes that way around, I would believe. Maybe not. Has it crashed? Yes. So it has to be the other way around. Two, three, four, zero. Do, do, do. This should be right. Let me check. Right, we preloaded the texture. Right, we preloaded the texture, registered the block, and gave it a name. Let me scroll down to the bottom. Preload of textures. Da, da, da. One, two, three, and zero. One, two, three, and zero. I wonder why it isn't loading our texture. Oh! I'm a dingus. We didn't add our textures to our um actual file so we want to go into our jars folder bin this is how I do it I think you can put in the temp folder but this is easier for me so access off um, textures no just drag the textures folder into there click OK access off go back into Eclipse scroll up here right click refresh now it's going to build it, refresh it and then launch a client. So now our texture should be loaded correctly. Because we weren't dinguses. No. Why not? Okay. Did it refresh correctly? Slash texture slash terrain slash blocks dot png slash oh I didn't put a slash up here either, which is very stupid. Always put slashes no matter what anyone tells you in the directories. And now it should work. Yeah, now it works perfectly. So we place off block just like we normally do when it's got its texture file well we don't want to be able to make our block we want to be able to create an item which we can right click with and it will place it for us so we're going to go into the net.microsource new class item awesome -ness placer I'm just going to put awesome placer. This is easier. So it has to extend the item class and the constructor, and then it has to implement the item 
texture provider again import it add the unimplemented method remove all these because this is an item we're not going to return our block file we're going to return slash textures slash GUI slash items dot pin right I know Luke on Luke's on um, I'll be right back and we're back so slash textures slash geo slash slash GUI slash items dot PNG then we want to find our item bow for reference okay so we're going to copy and paste all of this apart from the constructor remove the item enchantability we don't want this we want to just place it so remove all this just format everything right then this is the action will look like the max item duration on food eaten and then we just want to remove all of this and remove that control shift F to form at pardon me we want to damage our item our item Um, we want to remove all of this apart from that and we're going to use something here which is highly advanced so bear with me I just have to open up a different file so I'm sorry if you don't understand it it is in my magic mod file source minecraft net minecraft source control F I'm going to search for the item rock. No, rock. Uh, ice spike. Uh, da -da -da, I'll just open this. What is the actual? thing for it it is item book fireball so we have to open up item book fireball item book fireball so we're going to open this and there's going to be something in here which is highly advanced so down here we're just going to copy and paste this and I'm going to explain it all of it in this on player stop using method so what we're going to have to do is copy and paste this in and this is highly complicated stuff so sorry if you don't understand it so we're creating a new moving object position we're saying equal to the entity players race tra ray trace at performs ray trace for distance for the distance and using the partial tick time so par, um, the first argument is the distance which you can do it at for max distance and then the partial tick time then we're going to go down here and say if this is equal to null then we're going to exit out of the code then we're creating a new vector 3d object saying it equal to the moving object position dot hit back we're creating three va double variables named x, y, and z. Saying these equal to the vector 3D coordinates. Um, creating three new int variables named r, j, k. Saying those equal to math helper dot floor underscore double x, y, and z. And we don't need this yet. That's for later on. So then we're going to set a block 
at V I J and K. So we're going to set a block at V coordinates you are looking at. We're go just going to change this to our mod underscore forge torts dot. I didn't make it static like a noob. Right, we just have to make V static public static block public static that should all be fine now so we can actually X that off so we're going to say mod underscore forge tots dot first tot dot block ID right so we launch wait we need to register all this stuff so we're going to run up here and say public static item um, awesome awesome placer and we're going to come down here and set awesome placer equal to new item awesome placer the ID we want to pass in is the item ID so we're going to put 12,000 we want to say awesome placer dot set icon index to zero this is working right I should provide the right file name this time yes so right um awesome placer dot set name no mod loader dot add name to our awesome place we're going to call it awesome placer and then I believe that is all apart from a recipe so we're going to copy this change it to two blocks of dirt and launch wait we need a text for this so we're going to file open we're going to op open our items.png zoom in extremely far and then select this area from here to here delete it make sure it's selected select our pen tool and we're going to go for a very pinkish um, we'll go for a flower right just fill this in like so now I'm not the best with textures obviously but you will be creating actual textures for this I'm just doing a tutorial like that like that then a darker in the center looks alright save it click OK then we want to go down to here, go to documents, view tutorials. Then we want to go to M MCP charge, then open the folder, access off, um, and first tutorials, textures. And just drag our textures folder in there. Click OK, exit off reload our client workspace did I click it? ok then click play now when we put two pieces of dirt into any crafting oh missing name tag I knew I'd get that again dot set 
item name to AP. Just say it to AP. Just remember to add those methods. Like me, who is being stupid. So when we go to our single player, we place two pieces of dirt into any crafting any crafting area. Then um, we will get our item. Right, I'm going to get a crafting table here, see if that fixes that. Do 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 do. Got it. Crafting table. And like that. Hmm. Just let me check this here. Oh yeah. I forgot to change this, so awesome placer. We only want one of them. Click play. And when we load this file up, I mean load the game up, put the two pieces of dirt inside the oh. crafting area, we'll get our awesome placer, which looks pretty cool for me. And we're just going to right click and it places a block. I click with it like that, and we can do that. So bam, 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 bam. So in this tutorial, I might as well add the configuration file it's a pretty needed thing with minecraft modding so you can see the ray trace actually finds a block face which you are clicking on and places it next to that face which is pretty cool and you can go crazy with stuff you can spawn particles in the world um, entities um, anything you want really sounds that is a problem though on some faces I think it's when you are facing the free on your F it will delete the block you're looking at and place it there and the leaf just broke right so might as well have the config file in this one so we want to create a new configuration config equals new configuration import it from the net.microsoft.forge package not the java x security package and we're going to again add an argument new file import the file class and we're going to say um, awesome awesome dot cfg we're going to create a new static int awesome block id and a static int awesome placer id then we want to run down here to our config file we're going to say we actually might want to put this before we initialize our items just in case we run into problems with that so config dot not config dot out config dot get or create block id property so we want to set this to the block awesome id we want the default id to be 234 and then actually i believe i'm doing this wrong because scroll down here yes we have to do config.load then we have to do integer.parsing and stuff like that and that's we a public static in so we're going to go back in here set this to public static int and we're going to say config dot 
config dot it's probably not static though me yep so config dot load if I want to say down here just let me get this right yep awesome block id equals integer dot pass int config dot get or create block id property um, awesome block id that's what it will be represented by in the config file and the default id will be 234 and we want here a dot value to the end so we're going to copy this again put it down here awesome placer id then we want to set this equal to the config config dot get or create in property and the key is going to be the what it's represented by so we're going to say um awesome placer id and the category we want to put config dot category item and the default value will be 12,000 12 not 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 then we, then we want to add dot value to the end then we want to return the first ID we started with, so we're going to return with awesome block ID. Then up here we just have to, no, down here we just have to change these out for awesome block ID. No, that is our awesome place, so that will be awesome place uh, ID. This will be awesome block ID. Right, so now when we run this in a in our MCP jars jars not jars config, you can see it's create a config file for us mod underscore forge tots, and I believe we have to load up for at least once for this to work. Yeah. So now when we quit the game. Open up our mod underscore forge tots. This isn't right. Um, just let me go and do not disturb here. Um, return the auto. Oh, we forgot to save our file. You have to save the file. Like me, who is a noob, so config dot save run it load it up, single player, new world place, place, just to make sure it works, quick game and it still isn't working for some reason configuration.load, these are right Let's load, save Oh. we ha up here we have to say new file mod loader dot get minecraft instance dot get minecraft dir plus and then in our string we want to put in config slash and hopefully now it will work I'm not sure why you need to do that in the MCP it's probably still not going to work which is very bad blah blah, blah. save and quit quit game and it still isn't working you 
Instead, it's going it down here, which isn't right. What's the place right? Should be placing it in this config folder. Okay, so it's got the dot config. Oh, we probably put a dot somewhere instead of a slash. Forward slash config. And this should work. Yep. Yeah. See, now it's created itself in the correct directory. Make sure you put slashes. Just put slashes in your directories. Otherwise, you'll run into a bad time. So, where we put the get or create block id property you create up here, here in the block area in the general there's nothing in the general then down here where we put config dot get or create in property we put in we pass in the argument config dot category item and that is why it appears down here in the item category instead of the block or the general so I hope you like this tutorial. Um hope you learned how to bug fix from it. So if you ever run into trouble with that, that's why use the slashes. Um just remember to use the forward slashes like me. So that's it for this tutorial. See you next time.